Hi, today we're going to talk about problems that occur after laser vision correction. Those patients that have had some sort of laser vision correction in the past, such as LASIK, PRK, LASIK, EpiLASIK, and have issues um, at some point that occur and sort of stay with them after the procedure. <clears throat> and these can be categorized into sort of simple and more complex issues. Simpler issues are dry eye. Dry eye breaks down the epithelium, will scatter light, will make things blurry, will make things foggy. Treat the dry eye, vision gets better. Uh, allergies, if you have allergic conjunctivitis, it will affect the epithelium, will make the vision blurry. You'll think it's the laser correction. It's not, it's correct the allergies, they go away. More complex issues are of course that the laser vision correction wasn't done correctly. Uh, and it's simply a matter of the laser is off by nearsightedness or by farsightedness or by astigmatism. A simple laser enhancement will fix the issue. If it is more complex that the laser correction originally was done, not, not done properly or did not come out properly, that creates a whole new host of problems including blurring, night glare, halos, ghosting, doubling of vision, um, distortion, um, change of correction, change of refraction, um, and those are when you have an irregular shape from a correction that wasn't done properly before, those problems cannot be corrected by simple correction by enhancement or simple laser. In fact, that can actually make those problems even worse. I've dealt with patients like that. Very simply, laser vision correction is a usually done as a round correction because you have a round cornea and a round pupil. And what you want is, you want the correction to be done in a round area that when the pupil opens up at night, it opens up on corrected cornea so you don't have scattered light from unshaped cornea. If you have significant high order aberrations or flaws in the cornea either from the procedure or from naturally, uh, naturally because you weren't made in a machine, uh, sorry, in a lens factory, you were made in a womb, that can scatter light and cause problems. There are patients that have laser vision correction done and the laser is not done on center. In other words, here's the pupil, laser's done up here. You're essentially looking out through the side of a bowl. When it opens up at night, the vision gets even worse. Then what happens is, is the top layer of the cornea, this clear skin layer, tries to compensate for that irregularity, not knowing it's not helping things. It's just trying to make a smoother shaped cornea and then the vision really gets disrupted. If <clears throat> there is something else wrong with the laser correction, if it is done, let's say, at a tilted angle, at a patient from Northern California I was talking to today, and I looked at his scans that came from his doctor, the actual correction is deeper on, on top than on bottom, so it's done at a slant. He was doing well for a few months because he was looking through the center of the slant and as the epithelium likely corrected and tried to fix the irregularity, well, lo and behold, his vision got worse and he's got ghosting. You can't fix the epithelial problem without fixing the underlying structural problem. And it's these structural problems that we fix with topographic guided ablation. So for example, if someone has a decentered ablation or it's off, we actually take out the amount of tissue around here to make it an even shape again. If we have a slanted correction, we can take out the area that's slanted to make it more of a uniform depth again. If you have a correction that's too small and the pupil is opening up wide and opening up an area that's not corrected and causing night glare and halos, you can actually take out a ring of tissue around the small uh, uh, correction area and make it a bigger correction area and then actually fix the problem that way. And the interesting thing about this is from what we've seen in our experience with using topographic guided ablation is that a smoother cornea actually makes for a cornea that the body wants to compensate for and change less, therefore it becomes more stable correction. And so these issues really are things that can be fixed. So many of these sort of, 
horror stories that you read about online with patients that have had problems with LASIK, PRK, all these things really can be fixed today because we can segmentally reconstruct the cornea to actually make a proper shape to the laser correction that works in conjunction with how the pupil opens up and closes and then actually allows you to see well that doesn't scatter light. We can remove aberrations and make a smoother cornea so then you actually don't have a reaction by the body and you don't have scattering of light and so the light goes into the back of the eye without actually being scattered. That gives us more light, less scatter for the brain to try to deal with, that decreases glare, it decreases brain processing and it allows for better clearer vision.